2011 11 plate Triumph Bonneville T100. It's done just over 11,500 miles. Got two complete sets of keys. And the bike is very, very, very nice condition. I will sh show you around the bike now and show you any marks at all we've got. So, the screen's in great condition. There are obviously a couple of marks from just where you've been, where you clean it and you can see marks left over. There's no, no cracks on the screen, tiny little stone chip there. If you are hypercritical, as you look around the screen, you can see a I don't know if I can even show it on here. You can see a tiny, tiny little bit of hazing. So th th this isn't glass, it's like a plastic. Um, I'm trying to point it out, I can't even show you. There is the tiniest little bit of hazing between sort of there and there. It, passing MOT, it's not gonna be a problem. And when I look inside the headlight as well, Looks like it might have had a little bit of damp in there at some point. You can see that in there, but it looks bone dry now. Front mud guard has got no damage. Front tire is round and has got loads of life. The wheels for a nine year old bike, I'll be honest, the wheels are pretty incredible to be honest. Again, if you want to be hypercritical, you can find in little places the odd mark. But we certainly see these come through with spokes a lot, lot worse than this. Fork legs nice. End of the indicator is nice, but there's a couple of a couple of marks on that there. We've got a couple of scratches on the end of the brake lever, and there's a couple of scratches on the end of the mirror. Mirror glass is completely fine. No damage on the end of the bar end. And then the headers are in really, really, really nice condition. Got this engine protection bar, so if the bike ever does go over, it stops on the bar. And there's a couple of tiny little scratches there. All the engines are marked. And we also usually see what I would call patina on all these fins. And it's not unknown to get a bit of paint flaking off. We got none of that on this at all. Usual Triumph. Paint works absolutely beautiful. Certainly with this kind of paint, they are one of the absolute best that it now. No damage at all on the tank, you can't see any stone chips, no dents, and the whole sort of dashboard cockpit handlebar area is really nice. Seats perfect condition, can't see any marks or damage on that. Tiniest little scratch on the end of the rear brake lever. Can't see any marks. Tiniest little mark on the bottom of the hero blob. But overall, really nice condition. I'll show you all the exhaust. The shock's nice, swing arm all looks nice. And again, the rear wheel, so pretty much on par with the front. Rear mud guard's all good. And we've got this chrome, sort of sissy bar, stroke luggage rack. That all looks good. No damage any of the rear lights, and the rear tire's good. And it's pretty much got all of its shape. chain of sprockets so obviously you can see it's had some use obviously um, but it's it's not even halfway through its adjustment the sprockets are not in any way hooked at all so they look like they're in nice condition rear disc is 
it looks like brand new to be fair. I'm not saying it is brand new, but it hasn't certainly hasn't done much. And yep, the whole side of the bike is pretty much on a par with the other side. No damage at all in the cases. Can't see any mark on the end of the gear lever. Tiniest little mark on one of the hero glove. No marks on the engine guard and again the header on this side is perfect. Can't see any damage or stun chips. No damage on the end of the bar. Or tiniest little scratch on the clutch lever. And I can't see any marks on the mirror. The other thing we normally see on these is that the stems, we normally see sort of patina, like a bit of chrome coming off the stems on the mirrors and that hasn't got any of that either. No damage on this indicator. And again, on the fork loop on this side, on the wheel, and again, the brake disc. A little bit of wear on the front brake disc, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't even consider changing that yet. Um, but yeah, oh, there you go, I'll show you everything. Little bit of paint. So this is the front mud guard. It's the front stay. Tiniest, tiniest little bit of paint coming off that there. And the same round there. That's the only brush stuff on the whole bike at all. I guess a little bit this side, but yep, very, very, very nice bike. It's in our showroom in Sittingbourne, Kent, and you can see it from nine till five, Tuesday to Saturday. Got any questions? Please give us a call.